Hi folks, so today let's have a look at um, doing business cards in Affinity Publisher. Now this is a fairly short exercise and it is based on the workbook, the Affinity Publisher workbook. Now your business card is a handheld extension to your company and visually reinforces your brand. Your design should stand out visually without detracting from key contact details. Well, we'll be creating a double-sided business card with the document's first page forming the front side of the business card, showcasing the company logo, and the second page forming the reverse side, which will contain contact details. Now, I've got showing on the screen there already, and I've got the workbook in front of me. You'll see me looking at that every few minutes. But we're not going to use that one. We're going to set one up from scratch. Now when it comes to business cards, one size doesn't always fit all. So be sure to check your company's standard business card sizes with your printer when deciding on your document's dimensions. For this design, we'll use a dedicated preset for a quick setup. Now let's have a look at that. Go up here to File and new. Now there we have it. Now we've got press ready in presets and that's what we want really. Now look at that. There's a business card already designed for us. So you click on that, gets a blue highlight around it and the word business card comes up there. There's your sizes right there. DPI 300 millimeters. Now some people prefer images linked. I prefer images embedded. And the number of pages we're going to use is two, the front of the card and the back of the card. The colour is CMYK, that's fairly straightforward. Now we don't want margins, so we can get rid of that. But bleed is three millimetres all around. That's set by the printer. That allows you to move your colours right up to the edge, or designs and graphics for that matter, and it cuts it off right on the bleed line. Um, so that there's no white spaces around your card. You might wonder how they do that, but that's how it's done. So we've selected File and New up there. We've gone down to here. In the Presets, Press Ready. And within the Layout section, of course that's this. You can see there, Layout section. Set the image placement policy to prefer linked. Okay, so let's follow along. Prefer linked, and there it is there. Set the number of pages to two. And in the bleed section, ensure all bleed settings are set to three millimeters. And there's no margins. And then you simply click on create. Give it a moment and up it comes. There's our create. Now, importing brand colours. In the one in the book, they've got a couple of colours set aside for you, and they won't be your brand. But you can see already, there's no master pages. There's just page one. You can actually get rid of that. Page one and page two. The front of the business card and the back of the business card. Now the Brand Guide project looked at creating a colour palette containing approved brand Pantone colours for the business card and other stationary deliverables. We can import and use this palette, palette to apply to objects. So let's import that. On the swatches panel, we go over there, we're on the swatches panel. Click Panel Preferences. Import palette as document palette. There we go there. Import palette as document palette. You only want it in this pop in this sub um, document. Now where did we put the global swatch AF palette file? This will come up momentarily. 
I've put it in downloads, I'm pretty sure. Date modified. There we go, KB stationery. And there's our swatches palette. The KBA Global Swatches AF palette. Now, there's the palette there. It's imported it into your swatches. Easy. A new document palette called KBA Global Swatches is added to the panel. This creates a blue and green brand colour. Now, we're on page one. We can just ignore that for the time being. Make sure I'm on page one. Use the rectangle tool and drag a rectangle out across page one so it snaps into opposing bleed edge corners. Now it's really difficult to see the bleed edges on here. Let's reduce this a little bit in size. Now there's a blue line there. What I'm going to do is go to, what that one? I always mix up these two. But there's your bleed and I can set that color to red. Now that will be easy to see. Okay, now, now you can see it. There's the bleed edge, three millimeter bleed. Now it looks big because it's really only a small card, 88 millimeters. Now, use a rectangle tool. Over on the left hand side, we find the rectangle tool. There's the rectangle tool there. And from bleed edge to bleed edge. And you'll see it snap into place when it's in the right spot. Repeat this process for the second page. Let's minimize that slightly. We're still on the rectangle tool. Pull out the rectangle from bleed edge to bleed edge. And there it is. Now on the swatches panel, apply the blue and green swatches to each background rectangle on respective pages. So page one, we want blue. And there it is there. Had to select the layer, then you select the global color. Now we go do this one and we select the rectangle your rectangular layer and color it green. Now you can see it goes right out to the bleed because if it was in here, I'm up on the right hand corner there, if it was in there, you would see possibly a white line. If the printer machine is slightly off center, you'll have a white border or it'll cut there. Not quite right. Still have a white border. So bleed edge to bleed edge. Now, let's go back to the blue edge. Now, the business card front page uses a minimalist version of the company logo. A bold grid pattern with the logo nested inside. So display page one and go to file place. Go to file place. Navigate to where you've put the stationary file. Now we want KBA logos AF design. KBA logo AF design. Now, 
open it. Press the command key on the Mac or control key on Windows and then hover over the center of the page. And you can see it will provide the center, the dead center of the page. When you see intersecting red and green snapping guides, drag out to size the first artboard from the center of the document. Now that's obviously not the right one. Let's go back and do that again. File, place, JB Logos, AF Design. Open, command key, command or control. Now you keep holding that down and drag that out to the size you want. Let's leave it there for the moment. In the context toolbar, artboard options, swap the artboard. Now the context toolbar, somewhere up here, there's the right artboard, link documents, yeah. document, so that, that particular file is full of documents and we want grid logo green, grid logo blue, grid logo so the one you want KBA grid logo green Grid logo green, there we are. That should be the one we want. Drag it out to resize it. There it is, dead center in the middle of the card. And that's very handy. Resize the logo from center by dragging on any corner handle with the command key or control key pressed. And that will resize it automatically. I hold that down and resize it. You can see it's resizing it automatically. And keeping it in uh, the right size. It's used a linked affinity designer document with 27 artboards in it. And when placed, the most up to date logo variant will be used so you'll always conform to the latest brand guidelines. Okay, that was a tricky little bit, that one. Contact details. That's obviously one side of the business card. Let's go to the other side. Zoom out a little bit. 
Now I've downloaded the Shivo font family. You can go to fontsgoogle.com and search for C-H-I-V-O, the Shivo font family. I won't put it in the moment. Let's add some text to the back of the part card. With the frame text tool active, set your preferred text settings in the control bar. It's the artistic text tool, that's the frame text tool. And we want Arial AB Sibo Bold 12 point. Drag across the appropriate proximate center of the page and type into the text frame. Now, don't press hard return, use shift return as line breaks. So here we have K O E S T N E R, shift and return. Co founder. Too many E's. Co founder. Now I've enlarged that text frame a bit there, you, as you can see from that. And there's our cursor blinking very faintly just there. Telephone plus 44, 1632960421. Mail in dot a o e s t n e r at k b a dot c o m. Now I've no idea if that's a real one or not, but it doesn't matter for the purpose of this exercise. That's all we need. Now I'm not too sure of the size text here because in the document they don't actually tell you. Now we've got black and white text there, black text there, so let's highlight that text, use the swatches panel and let's color it blue. We'll make that one bold. This is emphasizing the contact details. On the context toolbar, increase the font size so it's slightly larger than the rest of the body text and apply the bold font style. So let's say 15. It's slightly larger and it's bold. Now we'll go and reduce this lot because we don't want that bold. We want that regular and 12 point. Now let's get this in the center. There we go, green and red bars, because I've got snapping on. See up the top there, make sure that little magnet's on and snapping will be on. Now there's the, there's the card, but adding the mark well, for the second page of our business card, we'll align a, place, a placed solidus mark to sit below, uh, beside our copy. 
deselect the text frame and then go to File and Place. Now that's obviously in the wrong place. Go to File and Place. And in here, we're looking for KBA logos. KBA logos. Open. Place it there. But up here we go to what we want is blue solidus mark. There we go, blue solidus. That's that one. And that puts that there. Now you can see that's really bumping into that. So let's move across, move that across to the bleed line. And that one there, you can move across there. Now it's probably far too big. So I'm going to, oops, edit, undo transform. No. Okay, continuing right along. Let's move that over to the left hand side. We'll take that document there. Hold the command key down and reduce that in size. And take it over to there. Now it's still on the horizontal. Let's enlarge that so it's the same top and bottom. There we go. It's right next to that. That's that side, but what we've got here So that's not too bad Basically that's all there is to it Oops, moving around all over the place there The Apple Magic Mouse can be a real pain Now you have your business card that side which is the main company logo and that side the information that you want your people to see. Now remember that there is the bleed. That's not a margin, that's the bleed. And when you're ready you just export that as a PDF file, take it along to your printer and they'll know exactly what to do with it. There we go.